mini session for a client. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay, can we please explore my connection to the Nemnir, Nemnir race from millions of years back on Earth or hear of anything they can share? Thank you. I have never heard of the Nemnir race. This sounds so awesome. Okay. Nemnir race. Oh man, yeah, okay. <sighs> I don't know why I feel really giggly when I tune into this. I'm gonna just chill out, <sighs> get tuned in. <sighs> really bubbly, like I feel really bubbly inside my heart, like delightful. <laughs> I feel delightful. I don't know, like I'm at some sort of gathering where there's really great finger foods and wonderful conversation. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like that. Okay, I'm still relaxing and getting tuned in here. Okay. This is so weird. All right, I'm through that layer, okay, of energetic information. And I'm going down a tunnel down into another dimension. And I could only describe it made out of water, but the water is almost like a glass or a dense substance, but it's actually water that has been turned into what feels like glass. And these beings are part of this water glass substance. They sound like electronics, like they their voice sounds technological, but it speaks through ripples in the water, which is also part of the glass and this density. Oh man, it's very interesting. <sighs> I'm just figuring out their their style here. There's definitely male consciousness energy, female consciousness. It definitely feels like male and female. It's almost like one speaks and then it ripples through the others, which also ripple their interpretation of what is being said. So there's just like these ripples and through the ripples, there's this electronic sort of sound and it, it works together to create a singular message. But it's not just one person speaking. It's been spoken from within the one. But from within the one, it ripples through the others who also share their perspective on it. And then through all these ripplings, it creates one expression, one sound. But it's actually traveled through what could be lots and lots and lots of very specific consciousness. Like lots of different souls, okay? But they don't feel like souls per se. They feel like consciousness. They feel like radio waves. <laughs> And it's, it's actually very natural. It's very, um, it doesn't feel like, uh, okay, hold on a second. Just very exhausting right now. Mm. It just uh, kind of ripples into the heart and then everything just wants to just collapse. Okay, apparently that I'm, they're speaking to me and I'm translating it. This is just how I energetically feel. So I'm going to wait for a moment. They're not threatening at all. There's literally nothing anxiety related about this interaction at all. There's something that feels natural about it. Even though it has a technological, like a, almost even robotic, but it's, I don't like the word, the word natural isn't the right, it's, what is the word? I can't think of the word, but it's, it is like natural, okay? Okay. 
I'm waiting for myself to know what they're saying. So when they're communicating, it's all these ripples and I'm feeling all these ripples going into my heart and they're just rippling across. And it's almost like a huge wave of information, like literally energetic water that is going into my heart and then rippling across my chest. And it's technological, it's like radio waves, but it's almost like energetic water, speaking through water. I still don't know what it is they're saying yet. I'm just going to introduce you. I have a really just super awesome client who would like to connect and just receive some some of your perspective and or just overall perspective. Hmm. They've been really closed off for a while. Like people don't just go looking for them. <laughs> people don't just go find them. They're very um, in their own community. <laughs> and what's interesting is they're like in a dimensional space of meditation within their own collective. They're going through like a massive inner meditation within their collective. Their collective still exists. It's really important that you wanted to connect because you're seeding them with information that they they needed from the outside dimensions. So in meditation, they're sort of sending signals out and you were inspired by this. Your soul received something of that. And that's why you wanted to connect with them because you actually carry some of the seeds that they're looking for. Um, so just you being you they're receiving perspective. They're receiving something from this that is really um, nurturing. It's helping to continue to evolve or expand their collective in this meditative state. However, if you could visit this dimension, it is a physical place. <sighs> they aren't uh, threatening at all. But I, but I could see them as being a bit intimidating because they, they don't interact like, they are very different in how they, they express themselves. And you don't know where, you don't know what's behind it because there's something very technological about it. So it's like trying to read the mind of a robot, a robot that is evolved. They aren't robotic though. That's just the thing. They're, they're natural somehow. They don't seem to have physical forms, but they're also physical. <laughs> you could see them more like um, electricity that works with the element of water that has density. But there's something that feels robotic, but it's natural somehow. Oh, it has to do with, okay, so there's some kind of love that you're bringing to the table, like a certain type of feeling that they become a bit separated from. It's something that you carry. It's a certain feeling of love that you carry. It's something special from your soul lineage, from your soul line. And all I could say, it looks like a teardrop that's made out of pearl is what it looks like. And you're handing it to them. And it contains lots of information. It's like an etheric crystal. like, But it's in their dimension, it's like a physical teardrop-shaped pearl. And it comes from within your soul lineage. And what I would define it as as a human is it contains information that is a very specific frequency of love that is very healing for all of them to receive it 
It's like they've been asleep. It contains information about different star systems. It contains information about what's going on in different parts of the universe. Like I see them all looking around as though they can see another world in their eyes and they're all just like, oh, wow, beautiful. Like they're looking across the vast universe through your soul's eyes. In places they haven't seen that they're wanting to see through you. And then they're studying that information like calculators. They're processing it and understanding themselves and their feelings through each other and through this information that you're sharing. They're turning into weird, like, um, like kind of like a buzzing vibrational wave sound. And it's like got a little bit of a clashing and then it looks a bit rainbow like, but it has more of like a, I don't know, technological pink color to it with electrical looking, um, vibrations going through it. They feel better in their hearts. They feel, they feel expanded. Their collective feels a bit reborn. And what's interesting is this heals a part of your own heart too because you feel a connection with them. So once they feel a transformation within their collective, you simultaneously feel it because you have a natural feeling of connection with them. Yeah, that feels... <laughs> You're breathing some kind of new fresh air, new energetic air. You feel like an inner peace of mind kind of thing. You want to you want to stay like you want to you want to talk to them for a while. <laughs> It just, it feels like they need to go back into a meditative state because they're, I mean, they're like calculating and they're interacting between each other a lot right now. So they need to process this. It's like they just had a, an event and now they're processing this with each other and they're growing from within the, themselves, which is like an energy. And so you and I are just kind of coming back to our own presence and we're just letting go of this dimensional space. You, I wouldn't want to stay there, to be honest. Because it's, it's a bit jarring, energetically jarring for me to just stand there. I'd need to adjust to their energy because it's a bit jarring. So I'm like dis disconnecting and coming back to myself. And then I'm disconnecting you and bringing you back to yourself. Just let them do their meditative thing. Oh, there's different dimensional versions of them. There's definitely different. You're intrigued by this. You wanted to go to this specific dimensional version of their of their collective to help them. I feel like we're I feel like we're back to Earth in a way. Okay, that's all. That's all. Like, oh, that was very unique. Thank you so much for this experience. Yeah. That was really different, very unique. Thank you very much, and thank you for sharing. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.